All right, so part of the fun of getting a new grill, such as the uh, Pit Boss Titan, is getting to figure out what all it can do or how well it can do it. And so today we're gonna put a brisket on and smoke it up and let's just see how this P setting, P7 to be exact, is gonna give us a good smoke flavor in this brisket. Y'all with it? Let's get it. <laughs> All right, gang, that's right. Today we are smoking a brisket. Now we got this full pack of brisket from our local Costco and we got it trimmed up. Now trimming was very easy. I'm not gonna bore you with a <laughs> going through the whole process, but we went ahead and trimmed it up, got a lot of the excess fat off and we trimmed it down to the, a good size for us. Now this is a 14 pound brisket and probably after trimming, we're probably somewhere in the neighborhood of about 10 pounds. All of everything that gets trimmed off, we're gonna save, obviously used for burgers or sausage or what have you. And now this is what we're left with and uh, we're gonna get it on our grill. Now today we're running our Pit Boss Competition Series Titan. We're running at 275 degrees Fahrenheit and we're gonna be using our P setting today of P7, get the maximum amount of smoke that we possibly can. So, uh, Hey, let's get this brisket seasoned up and let's get it on the grill. All right, so we've got our brisket here. We're ready to get it seasoned up. Now my brisket is not as moist as, uh, you know, I'm used to having my brisket. This one's been sitting in the fridge for a little bit. So we're gonna use a binder. And today I'm just using a little bit of water. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water on here just to get it to where uh, our rub will uh, adhere to it. And we're gonna start it off. Now we're gonna start here with our 16 mesh black pepper guys. So we're gonna get a good little dose of that put on here. You guys know I love this 16 mesh black pepper so I gotta have it on here, right? Okay, now after our 16 mesh, we're going on with some kosher salt. Now this is diamond crystal uh, kosher salt, but uh, feel free to use uh, whatever salt you decide you want to, but I like using this diamond crystal, so that's what we got going on. Okay, next up, I'm gonna get on a little bit of granulated garlic. We're talking that full SPG here, so just a little light dose of granulated garlic over top. And then last up, a little bit of seasoning salt. And guys, that's all we're gonna get on this brisket. Now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then we'll be ready to get this onto the grill. All right, gang, here we are at the grill. Now we've got the top rack taken out. We're gonna be cooking on our middle rack today. And I've got a water pan under here. Now this water pan is gonna be here for a couple of reasons. I'm gonna catch the juices and everything that's gonna be coming off the brisket so I'm not dirtying up the bottom of the grill. And we got a little water in here so that as those juices drop, they don't start to burn. So that's why we've got a little bit of water in here and we're gonna get our brisket put on. All right, so our brisket's gonna go right over our water pan. We're gonna bunch it up the way that we want it to cook. And that's pretty much gonna be it. We're gonna let it go, all right? Now, again, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. We're running on our P7 setting and we're just gonna let it go. All right guys, when you are smoking your brisket, what is the rub you like to use? Now I'm a Central Texas guy and I love my salt and pepper, but I know there's a lot more out there. So guys, what do you like to put on your brisket when you're smoking it? Put it down there in the comments section and let's talk about it. All right, we are exactly four hours into this cook and it's coming along nicely. Our color is starting to develop. It's feeling pretty good there. It's not drying out too bad, so I think we're doing okay here. So I think at the four hour mark, we're rolling along well, um, and we're gonna just close it up and I guess we'll keep it going. All right, bring it back in a bit. All right, let's face it guys, uh, pellet cookers are here to stay. People are loving pellet cookers, so hey, we gotta add it to our uh, repertoire, right? So I wanna know, if you're not using a Pit Boss Titan, what type of pellet cooker are you using to smoke your briskets on? Put it down there in the comments section. Let's talk about it. OK, 
Okay, we are at the five and a half hour mark here. Just taking a look here. And again, we're still coming along really well. The fat's puffing up nicely here. I am noticing it's getting a little darker on this side. Still pretty soft though. But it is getting a little darker on this side. So I'm suspecting it's cooking a little faster on this side than it is this side. This side of the cooker tends to run a little hotter. So let's take a look. We're at 172. 175 degrees there. And we are about hundred and seventy on this side. So 175, 175 uh, degree difference. It's not too bad, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. All right, now we've got our brisket rotated around here. Again, we were 175 here in the uh, point, 170 or so here in the uh, flat. Not too bad, but turn it around gives a chance for a more even cook so we're going to let it keep rolling you can see the juices are still pooling so I think we're looking pretty good we're not going to split so we're just going to close it up and keep going guys all right gang so as you just saw we just hit our five and a half hour mark now to me the brisket looked like it was getting a little darker on one side which tells me that it's cooking a little faster now the temperature variation was not much at all 175 at the point 170 at the flat it's not bad at all but I went ahead and rotated it around just so I can have a good even uh, cooking process all the way through the duration. The point being, don't be afraid to check out your meat and rotate, adjust on the fly. If you've got to rotate the meat around or move it to different areas of your cooker, just so you can have an even cooking process throughout the entire uh, cook, then do that. It'll be a much better product on the end. All right, let's get back to this cook. All right, gang, so just like that, eight and a half hours uh, it took us to get this brisket pretty much where we want it to be. We just got it off. We got it wrapped. We're not going to rest. So I'm going to go for a long uh, rest time. So what I've done with it is, uh, or what I'm going to do with it, it's going to go in my oven. I'm going to have my oven set at about 155 degrees or so, and we're just going to let it rest until we're ready to slice into it. So the next time I see you guys, we will be in the studio and we'll get this brisket sliced up. All right. See you then. All right, gang, here's our brisket. So let's get it unwrapped. Smells really good. There we go. Get some of this tallow portal across here. All right, well, there we are. Look at that. And the flat is cutting nicely. There we go. That's what we're looking like on the flat. I do feel like it might be a little dry there. Uh, not too bad, but it is just a little bit. So we'll move that over to the side and get onto our point here. And there's our point, guys. Cuts like butter. There you go. Get that sliced up right quick. And there we go. It's looking like that. There you go. All right, we gotta take a bite of this. All right, so there we go. Nice little point there. We're gonna take a bite. See how this uh, smoke mode P7 worked for us here. So I got to tell you, that's a very tender brisket. The flavor is just point, I mean, just spot on for me. The smokiness, uh, it's kind of on a scale of one to 10. I'll probably give it a five, maybe a six. It's not as smoky as I thought it would be, but it's got a great flavor. And uh, I think in all in all, that Titan did a very good job with uh, smoking this brisket for us. So I'm gonna call this one a success. And uh, hey, man, I'm about to get into this brisket. Thank you guys for coming to check this out. If you enjoyed this, make sure you check out the video I got posted right there as well as click that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.